Hello, Taurus. Welcome to Frankie's Tarot. I'll be doing your general love read for November. I did start prior and I had to stop. Um, and I was interrupted, but I did pull um, and I wanted to keep these because somebody may need to hear this. Um, financial and material changes, material and spiritual prosperity and move in, movement choices and decisions. Um, so all this is about um, somebody um, financially and in money. So if you've been waiting, we've been working really hard towards something. Um, there's definitely movement coming in November and you will start to see um, some returns. Um, you'll start to see return on investment um, because you do have, a, it's all financial material changes. Okay. And it's all positive. So I have five, six and two. Um, it could be in two weeks, six weeks, five weeks. Um, it could be November 5th, December 5th, 6th, 2nd. Um, again, play, you can play with those numbers. Um, it could be the 26th, the 25th of November or December, um, where you just will, it's some, maybe there's some choices that need to be made. Maybe you have been pondering on a decision, and this is uh, universe saying that make that decision because it's, it's, um, it's coming in. It's coming in, okay? So I definitely wanted to keep that. If it resonated with anybody, please let me know down below. Um, it all just wanted to come out, um, uh, about, about your material life and, and, uh, your monies. All right. Universe. What do we have for love? Give me a card for the overall love energy. Love energy. The money department looks good. The stability department. What do we have for love? What do we have for love for my Tauruses? Flirt. The bottom. And it is safe for you to love. All right. Maybe there's, um... Something new coming in for you. Let me see. Let's see. All right. What is coming in for? Who is coming in for my Tauruses? Who is coming in for my Tauruses? One last shuffle. So the five of wands, we have the five of swords, and we have the eight of pentacles that was coming up in reverse. So there was a lot of argument um, and a no-win situation, a lot of stress that burns, burned you out in the past, okay? So something definitely burned you out in the past. Um, a lot of petty arguments. There was a no-win situation. There was conflict between the two of you. Your person or you gave up. One of you were constantly arguing and then one gave up, okay? But it was not, it was, both of you felt like there was no win, winners here. It was going nowhere, all right? So that was, that's the past. The current, we have the temperance, so it could be connected with the Sag. We have the Four of Pentacles for the mutual energy. And we have the Nine of Swords. So your person or whoever this person was in the past here, is really stressed um, out over this. And um, my Taurus, you look like you're, you're finding a balance in your life. You're finding your worth, and your person maybe needs to find their worth. Um, or you're moving on, and they are um, sad that you... Have decided to move on maybe that's where all this material um gains are okay the page of wands yeah look at this energy you have like this freedom you're in your game here you have the page of wands and you have the temperance it's like you just you just it clicked something clicked and you want harmony in your life you want a balance in your life you want stability in your life and your person maybe was draining, draining you emotionally, but here you are just um, in this great energy, this great energy um, of success. There is some healing here going on between the two of you, and there's a higher level of um, understanding. So it looks as though your person may be coming back around. There is um, to make a decision, maybe to... Um, to come back and just let you know that they see things from another perspective maybe they've gone within and they understand 
maybe in the past it was more about them and um, they were codependent in some sense and just didn't know their worth. And maybe now there's been some healing between the two here and um, there could be a reconciliation. It is saying it's safe for you to love and to flirt, but this feels like it's this past person here. Let's clarify this judgment card though. Let's clarify there's some healing going on between the two, okay? I do get um, Sag, Leo, Aries. I get Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And I have the Scorpio card here too as well. And I do get your energy here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well too. But let's clarify this um, this outcome here. Because your your energy is just carefree right now. You're, just, you're moving towards uh, some sort of financial stability. Um, you could be missing your person and they are maybe coming back and they could be deciding to come back. But we'll see. We'll see what the cards say. We have the Queen of Wands here. So somebody who you find very, very attractive, uh, Sagittarius, um, Aries, um, Leo. Okay, somebody who's very, very busy, multitasker, um, very energetic, very passionate, can be stubborn and hot-headed as well, too, and needs a lot of attention, okay? The Queen of Swords, maybe they are um, quick with their mouths. Um, they can be a little bit emotionally withdrawn, but they could be coming back with this new energy of the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Swords, which is a more passionate and um, logical energy with the Queen of Swords. So they're coming back, they're seeing things with this Scorpionic, the Judgment card um, from a, they have a deeper level of understanding with this with this Queen of Swords card, they kind of go in and really, really see the truth of the matter. Um, but they could be coming back uh, with these two new, in, this new energy here. Okay, but this also could be your person may need to, I'm just getting this story. This could be for somebody else out there. I, I hate when I get two stories, but this could be somebody, your person making a decision between a Leo Sag Aries or a um, Aquarius Gemini um, Libra. Okay, there could be a decision here with your person. All right, let's, let's clarify that. Let's clarify the Queen of... Um, wands and the Queen of Swords. Here. What's going on here with the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Swords here? So I don't see reconciliation here. I just see some healing here. Maybe there's been some healing on both sides since um, the past arguments. We have the Page of Swords. So communication here. Um, messages. And we have the Hanged Man. So... I'm letting go of a past situation. And we have the Page of Cups. So opening up your heart. So yeah, I feel like this is your person um, letting go of the past. They've hung out for a while in their heads maybe and they've had an epiphany. They understand the situation um, a little deeper. And they've had time to heal. While you're working on, you over here working on yourself, your financial stability, your energy here is just amazing. Um, very energetic, very passionate, very free here. Um, but your person ha has let go of some, um, some they want to communicate with you that they've let go of the past. And they want to, they open their heart again to you or offer you this cup of love, okay? They are coming back with the more, um, with the energies of the Queen of Wands. They're um, very, you find them very attractive. They're, 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 they're looking good and they're coming back clear headed, okay? So that is what I get there. Wheel of Fortune, a turn of events. You may not be expecting this turn of events here, okay? This may come, this might take you from, um, you might not even have been thinking about this person and they're coming back. All right. Let's see what other messages we can get here. I do have the Ace of Swords here. I had to pull that card. I always do this communication, just truthful communication between the two of you. Um, and that's what they want. They want to come back for truthful communication. 
All right, what other messages or advice do you have here for my Sag regarding this situation? All right, regarding this situation, what other um, messages do you have for my Sag regarding this situation? Is this a reconciliation? How about that? Is this a reconciliation? All right, we have the two of wands, so initiate and contact. So maybe in the past this person's been blocked, but now they are, they're coming in to initiate contact or you will receive contact from this person. Maybe they've had you blocked. And that's why you sort of moved on and, and, and worked on yourself and did your thing. But now they're coming in to initiate contact. And remember, the energies can be vice versa here as well. Um, but there is some healing again. We have the Four of Swords here again to clarify that there has been some healing here. And your person is coming back to um, initiate contact or, or unblock. Okay? It's a start. It's a start here. And we have the Five of Swords here. Um, so, again, we have that conflict card that you had in the, the, the past here. Um, but you have the Lovers here. And the Ten of Cups. So this relationship, you have the lovers and the Ten of Cups. This could be a committed relationship and you could have um, a marriage of some sort. You could have separated for a while. Um, but it's definitely, you're making this choice. You're getting over the Five of Swords here, the conflict from the past. So I believe that's the unblocking and the initiating contact. The lovers is the choice that's going to make you happy. And you get the Ten of Cups here. So you are choosing to reconcile with your person. And it is safe for you to love this person again. Okay? It is safe for you to love this person again. We have the Ace of Pentacles. So a new beginning. A new beginning with this whole job opportunity. Maybe they are coming in and they you are working together on this, um, on this situation. Maybe you met at work. You know, I don't know why I'm getting that as well too. But you... But this is definitely um, a new beginning more financially or materially, okay? So you could decide to work together on whatever. This could be that decision or the choices that you make in the movement. Your person may come back and this is where you make this decision to work together. And then you see the movement um, in your business. Maybe you've worked together before in the past, okay? Um, whew. Alrighty, well, that's, I like that. Let's see what other messages um, or guidance we can get. Let me get some advice. Let me get some advice for the future. Let me get some advice for the future for these guys. Let's get some advice here. One more shuffle. What advice do we have? The Ace of Swords again. So you have the Ace of Swords twice. You have, pay attention to um, ones, you know, 111, um, 1111. And if you see it when you're in your head, it always tells me that if you're thinking something negative, switch it up. If you think something positive, that's your answer, yes. Okay, but there's definitely justice here. There's a new beginning. You have the Ace of Swords. You have the Ace of Pentacles here. Okay, I think in the Page of Cups, I thought you had the Ace of Cups over here, but the three. This is definitely yes. Yes to a whole new beginning. Speaking your truths. A balance here, even with the temperance card. A balance, justice, truth, communication, truthful communication, and a new beginning, um, a new stable beginning is coming, okay? Um, that is just the advice is to just have, be truthful with your communication, okay? All right, I love that. I think I'm going to leave it there. I'm not doing an extended this week. Um, I will catch you next week with an extended um, if, if necessary. But this is, let me know in the comments down below if um, this resonates with you. I love you guys. Take care.